She heard the click once more. It was the third of the evening. She went into her husband's study and turned on the cameras, deciding it was now or never. Another tap was heard at the door. She swiped through the various cameras, searching for the porch with bated breath. When she found the camera, her mind relaxed, but what she saw made her want to run to her husband. Kelly was not like the majority of the 26-year-olds in her neighborhood. She'd finished graduate school and was a year into a happy marriage with her high school sweetheart, Brad Shoemaker. Shoemaker's life was perfect. They had everything a young couple could want. A nice home, reasonable income, and undying love between them. But this was about to change. When Jeremy was born, the Shoemaker family dynamic shifted. Although the birth brought Kelly and Brad great joy, it made staying in their city apartment extremely difficult. Brad proposed to move to the countryside after observing his wife's constant stress over the situation. Kelly agreed right away. She had no clue what she was getting herself into. The family relocated to a lovely home away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Jeremy was two years old at the time. He was the most enthusiastic about their new home of all the shoemakers. The shoemaker house was surrounded by lush trees that were home to squirrels. This was heaven for Jeremy, a two-year-old. His mother, on the other hand, was not on the same page as him. A scurry of squirrels can attract a bird of prey, as Kelly said one night to her husband. She'd noticed Jeremy enjoying spending time in their backyard with the squirrels and was starting to fear the worst. Despite the fact that there were predators in their county, Brad assured her that everything was fine. When a knock on the door woke them up one night, he changed his mind. The shoemakers heard a knock on their porch door on a cold Saturday night. Brad grabbed his bat and went downstairs to check. Kelly walked over to him, her bat in hand. When he looked at her, she wiggled her brows. Then she slid open the porch door. What they saw stopped them dead in their paths. A bleeding squirrel lay in front of Kelly and Brad. One of its hind legs was stained by an open wound. Kelly rushed to its aid when it barely scraped. The injured animal was taken in by the shoemakers. They cleaned and bandaged the wound. To keep it warm, Jeremy brought a blanket. Even though the house had quieted down again, Kelly couldn't shake the feeling that something else was going on. After a year, Lily, the shoemaker's newest member, was fully recovered. The family returned her to the wild, knowing she had a family who missed her. Now that Lily was gone, the house was a little empty. But it wasn't long before the shoemakers started hearing taps on their porch door at strange hours of the night. When the shoemakers heard the knocks, they dashed to the porch door. They discovered only their dark yard staring back at them. A month passed, and the knocks continued every night. The months then turned into a year. Jeremy was in fifth grade before the shoemakers knew it. Kelly was nearing the end of her PhD, and Brad was the manager of his company. Despite all these changes, one thing remained constant. Even after eight years, the shoemakers were still hearing taps on their porch door. Brad became dissatisfied with the state of affairs and installed cameras throughout his backyard. He also placed some over the driveway. Kelly spent her night that weekend staring at the cameras. What she witnessed. Kelly dashed upstairs to rouse her husband. She hurried into Jeremy's room as well, waking up the 10-year-old. It's 2 a.m., Brad complained as he trailed her and Jeremy. So what exactly is it? Kelly didn't respond. She drew them both into Brad's study, her wide eyes fixed on the porch camera. Brad exclaimed. He zoomed in on what he was seeing, focusing the video feed. Kelly reached out for Jeremy, hugging him as Brad encircled them. The porch was being tapped by a squirrel. Jeremy inquired, and Kelly responded with a nod. The squirrel had grown, and its coat had become more detailed. When the squirrel did something unexpected, the family was about to rush to let Lily in. Lily climbed the rafter and vanished. Jeremy nearly yelled. Brad changed the computer's view to one of the cameras that was watching the house. There, Jeremy said, pointing to Lily on the roof. She climbed into a small gap between the tiles. Attic, Kelly suggested, and everyone dashed upstairs. Their jaws dropped when they discovered what they discovered. Lily was curled up in her old cuddler. She fed three kittens peacefully, well nestled between her legs. Kelly burst into tears of joy, while Brad and Jeremy remained silent. She reached out to them and they held hands as they watched. Jeremy crept away, only to return a minute later with Lily's old blanket. The shoemakers got Lily a new cuddler that was big enough for her kids, Jossie, Alan, and Cliff. Brad also cleaned up the attic and made it more animal-friendly. They discovered that every time they heard a knock on their door, it was Lily. She'd been living in their attic all along. It was incredible for Kelly to see the baby she raised raise her own children.
So what do you guys think of this story? Don't forget to share and to subscribe.